Okay, that's right. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. Uh, welcome everyone to reconvene on several uh, Senate and House bills. Uh, first up on our agenda, our 1025 agenda is SB 3172 relating to public agency meetings for the Senate. It's myself as chair, uh, Senators Lee and Favela as managers. Okay, thank you. On behalf of the House, McKelvey Nakashima, co chairs, managers, Wildberger Ward, everybody's here. Okay. Um, so you sent us over a draft. Uh, we sort of looked at it. Um, <laughs> Would you mind just explaining uh, what's in it and, and see if that coincides with our understanding? Oh boy, okay, I knew you were going to do this to me. Uh, well, I have it right here, and okay. basically what we're saying is that they have to keep complete minutes, um, they use video, uh, they have to post it up onto their website, um, they have to have a timestamp indicating when the recording of the board began its discussion of each agenda item, um, we are keeping in the, let's see, we're keeping in the um, fact that you brought up yesterday. We're taking up the 40 day thing. Um, and we're also putting in the fact that regardless of whether the written minutes of the meeting have been posted pursuant, we can still post up the video um, as well. Uh, onto the so the video, the video would be up permanently? Yeah. Okay. You don't, you, you're not concerned about the, so I, I, I'm not, but the question that was been raised about whether or not that would be possible to do uh, just in terms of uh, memory space and tech. There's plenty of it available. Okay. I mean, so let's move into the future, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> so, but then you, you would not have, you have to do written minutes under your room? Yes, you have to do the written but, minutes. But if you can- Complete do, written minutes, yes. But if you don't do, but if you don't do the video, you don't you don't have to post the video if you don't have. One. Yes, correct. Okay. And and if post the video for the testimony we got from the neighborhood board. You would have to timestamp it for the agenda items. Uh, and then October first, twenty twenty two, would be the effective date to give OIP the time to be able to work with the boards on the rules regarding videos and minutes, et cetera. Okay. And then the video itself, did you? We, we somewhere along the line there was a provision that said you only had to put up one you didn't have it's to still there it's still there yeah that's still there we left that one that you you guys put that forward and so we kept it in there okay um I'm, I, I'm game if you are. Um, yes, let's make a deal, as old, the I don't, show host used to say. I don't quite have quorum, so if we could just roll this, um, and let's uh, roll it until I have quorum. And, okay, and yeah, let's we, move on to agenda, and then maybe we can get quorum back when we get okay. to the end there. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Okay, next one up on this agenda is SB 3219 relating to Sunshine Law. Uh, for the Senate, myself as chair, Senators Lina Favela as managers. Thank you, House McKelvey Nakashima, co chairs, Wildberger Ward. Uh, I'm trying to remind myself where we were on this. Particular you had a CD one gave to us. The only difference between uh, our final version and the CD one is that you have given us a new definition for the conflict, which basically says personal okay. business property or financial interest on any issue before the board at the meeting. Okay. I've conferred with my co-chair. He is fine with the language. Okay. Um, effective date of July 1st, 2022. Although um, I know there was a, uh, request to make it October, I think that given that this is such a kind of non, you know, very 
not a huge overarching implementation that July 1st is kind of a good middle ground and so far as giving them time to OIP to work with the boards and commissions on this, um, but yet still making sure it takes effect um, before October, so. Okay, so you guys wanna go July 1st? Yeah, July 1st would be very good. Okay, I think we're good to go on that one then. Um, I do have a call now, so. Okay, let's vote. My vote. Okay, so on SB 3219, we'll pass with a, a CD. I'll vote yes, Senator Lee. Aye. Senator Favela is excused. Do you want us to take the vote on our end? Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Easy, would, I, would, you, would you mind how I took the vote for that? I would be honored. <laughs> Chairman Kelly. Aye. Uh, Co-chair Nakashima. Yes. Uh, Representative Wildburn. Aye. And Representative Ward. Aye. Okay, great. Have Thank you guys. Mahalos. I'll even sign it before I send it over to you. How's that? Do you want to go jump back to 3172 since you've won? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Uh, so back on SB 3172, um, I don't know, Senator, we've already discussed what was in it. Do you want to hear it again? Or are you okay with the? I trust your judgment. Okay. Then we will go ahead and vote on SB 3172. Again, this is a CD. One, uh, CD. I'll vote yes, Senator Lee. Aye. Senator Favela is excused. May I take a vote for the House? Please, sir. Uh, Chairman Kelvey. Aye. Co-Chair Nakashima? Yes. Uh, Representative Wildberger? Aye. Representative Ward? Aye. Okay. Thank you. Now comes the fun one. <laughs> I was trying to postpone that as long as possible, but... Uh, uh, okay, so next up is um, SB 3252. For the sentence, myself as chair, Maury Walkie, co-chair, Lee and Favela as managers. Okay, behalf of the house, McKelvey, Wildberger, our co-chairs, Costellas Ward are the managers. So, let's see if I have a copy of this. CD1 we proposed. Well, on this one here, you had a CD one you proposed to us. We do have the release of the money committees and for the positions and funding that were requested from OIP. Uh, a few minutes before we started conference, some of the proponents of the bills, uh, bills I think they were concerned about trying to ensure support from the executive chambers. We're fine with the proposed CD one that was given by OIP. However, in our discussions, you felt, the Senate felt that that would be a gut and replace because that had not been included in any it, it, It's a stretch would be yeah. my, yeah. So the, given the that, we're ready to accept your CD1 um, okay. with the, no. I believe it's an October 1st, 2022 implementation date for OIP with uh, the money in position. Yeah, we, we just, we haven't seen this yet, right? Okay, so there's a couple of little tweaks. Um, let me just point you to them. Uh, we deleted 92F-4213 because it was duplicative. And it's on page. No, we didn't delete it. It's consolidated, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We did consolidated. Okay, which is correct. It's consolidated. Okay, if you look on page eight, so the rules will set forth fees not exceeding five dollars for fifteen minutes for passion era for the search for the record, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then the dates we um, will make the money part of, uh, effective on July first of this year, so the beginning next fiscal year. Perfect. And the rest of it will be October first, twenty twenty two, um, for to allow OIP to be able to. I think we have um, July 1st in it right now. 23. Oh, 23. Oh, okay. Then we'll give it that. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. 
All right. I okay. think we're good with that, like I said. And we, like I mentioned earlier, we do have release from the money yeah. committees on this measure. We, yeah, let's see. We guess we should mention what the dollar amount is to. 185,000. Sorry. 185,000. Sounds right. How do you yeah, know this? Two two FTE. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. That sure. sounds, that's what I remember too. Ask a question. No. We're in conference right now. So, but if you have concerns, feel free to make sure the price is 25 cents, not five cents in the CD. I just want to make sure that the CDI is correct. Uh, we did, yeah, we switched it from no less than five cents to no more than 25 cents. Yeah. Okay, I think yep. we're ready to vote then. We're ready to vote. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, except I don't have, <laughs> except I don't have quorum. No, great. Um, I, I could have missed the work of asked this question. <laughs> why don't we uh, just uh, go on, to leave this open and go on to our other. Okay, sounds good. Can. All right. See, this is, yeah, this does have a ramp, so we could do it tomorrow. And the next bill is yours. All right, this is a House bill. So, 2416 related campaign spending on behalf of the House, McKelvey, Montayoshi, our co chairs, managers, Kitagawa, Nakashima, and Ward, and they are all here. For the Senate, it's myself as chair of Lee and Favela as managers. Okay, thank you so much. We've issued you a CD1, and in a nutshell, uh, what it contains is we basically updated the preamble, we harmonized the communications with the exemptions, and we set the donor limit um, at $10,000, which is what the Senate was hoping for. Okay. And I believe it's an effective date of January 1st, 2023. Do you have do you have a written copy of that? I did at? email it to you uh, this morning, but I have Can another one as well if you'd like. Okay. Uh, while we're perusing that, can we just go back to this other vote? By all means, we'll come back. Okay. So, okay. Okay. Uh, going back to SB thirty two fifty two for the vote that's uh, as described already, it will be a C one. Uh, for the Senate, I'll vote yes. Senator Moore, um, Co Chair Mori Walkie. Yes. Senator Lee. Aye. And Senator Favela is excused. Uh, can I take the vote for the House? Please, sir. Uh, Chair McKelvey. Aye. Uh, Co Chair Wilberger. Aye. Uh, uh, Representative Costales. Aye. And Representative Ward. Reservations. Reservations. Okay. Okay. Um, thank you. Can we uh, can we just recess for a few minutes and let us look at this? Sure. This round. Okay, so uh, we hit the highlights of the CD1. You also um, had the chance to peruse. Is there any other concerns? Well, I think we're I think we're good. Okay, sounds good. So with that being said, we have a CD1. Uh, I will take the vote. Uh, I, of course, vote I. Uh, Co-chair Matayoshi. Aye. Manager Kitagawa. Aye. Uh, Manager Nakashima is excused, and Manager Ward. Aye. Okay, may I take the vote on behalf of the Senate, please? Chair Rhodes. Aye. Uh, let's see, Senator Lee. Aye. And Senator Favela is excused. We have a two one. Lovely. Thank you. And that concludes the hearing. And then, hey, Carl, so we got to Tina can snap a quick pic. Okay, welcome back everybody. We have the conference committee between ourselves and agriculture on behalf of the House, McKelvey, Kitagawa, Wildberger, co-chairs, managers, Costales, Ward. From the Senate, uh, Gavra's chair, Karawaki Kidani is co-chair, Costales, manager. Okay, thank you so much, Senator. We sent a proposed CD1 over to you, um, basically going with the SD2, but just removing subsection B, given the dormant interstate commerce clauses we discussed. 
an effective date. However, um, because of quorum and also just to make it official with the money committees, I like to propose that we maybe get together tomorrow at 10.50 a.m. with the hopeful intent of voting on the bill. Sounds good, Chair. Hey, thank you so much, appreciate it. 10-5-0. Yeah, 10-5-0. Okay. See my hands on, I can take All right, well, welcome back. We're on the bill now, um, 1475, HD1, mandatory ethics. We have to vacate the room, so we'll make this quick. We gave you the CD1, which was your version. The only difference is adding some flexibility language for the ethics commission and specifying that live would also encumber Zoom as well as in person. And that's kind of the highlights there. Okay, uh, and the effective date? Effective date, I believe, is January 1st, 2023. Yes. Okay. I think we're agreeable to that. Okay. okay, sounds good. Thank All you right. so much. Uh, let me just get a vote sheet here. Hundred percent. Never mind. Here it is. All right. Uh, hey. there it is. Okay, got it. Sorry, my bad. Buried in there. Okay. Uh, 1475 HD1 SD1 with the CD1 chair. I vote aye. Co chair Nakashima, yes. Manager Costellas, aye. Manager Mizuno, aye. Manager Ward, aye. May I take the vote on behalf of the Senate? Sure, all right. Even don't though we're hanging here, we haven't introduced any of them, but that's okay. okay. <laughs> well, they all know us, by now, they all know us by now. Okay, okay. Senator Tanaguchi, aye. Senator Rhodes, aye. Senator Favela. Aye. All right, we have a CD1. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome to the uh, conference on two bills today. Um, and before we start, uh, I on SB 2378, I am Sharon Moriwaki, uh, the chair from the Senate. And with me is Donnell Rose, co chair. And for the House, we have myself, Nakashima, and Holt as co chairs, Dale Kobayashi, and Okimoto as members. Okay. Um, on Senate Bill 2378, relating to the Taxation Board of Review, uh, the membership and comp composition, also an appropriation for, um, for the staff uh, and for the Board of Review that's going to be paid. Uh, we do not have release, so um, shall we roll over till tomorrow, same time? Sounds good to me. Okay. Uh, and uh, for Senate Bill 2379, uh, relating to Special Enforcement Section, uh, expands the authority of the uh, special enforcement section. Uh, the uh, Senate conferees are myself as chair, uh, Senator Rose as co chair, and Senator Kanuha and uh, manager Senator Pavella. So, the House, we have myself and their poll as co chairs, Rep. Kobayashi and Okimoto as members. Thank you. Um, also, we do not have release from the Finance okay. Committee and Senate. Uh, Lam. So we will roll this over as well for tomorrow. And tomorrow. Okay, we will see you. Thank you, you so again. much, Senator. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.